we've got a set of rims off of, uh, I think it's a 2008 uh, Chevy Silverado that I want to put on my truck for the winter time. Uh, but they need to be reconditioned first. The clear coat's all peeling off and they're corroding underneath. So what we're going to do first is we'll start with some aircraft stripper and get all the old clear coat off. Just put this on with a brush. Let it sit for 10-15 minutes like the directions say to do. And then uh, we'll scrape it off, reapply if we need to, and uh, then we'll take the power washer to it and uh, get all the, the rest of the clear off and neutralize it. Do any sanding as well on any uh, corroded spots. Tape it up. Reapply some clear and uh, see how they turn out. You can see, uh, or I hope you can see on the camera, the, the clear is just lifting right off, bubbling right up. Okay, so we've let that sit for about oh, about 10 15 minutes with, uh, with the stripper on there. So we'll just peel it off now with a knife, putty knife, and uh, See if we need to make another coat of this or not. It does peel right off nicely. Now normally you might want to use a, a plastic scraper if you don't gouge the rim like you could with this metal one, but these rims are going to need a fair amount of sanding anyways to get some corrosion off them, so I'm not too concerned about that. Well, I'm ready to put on the second coat now. I'm just using the lid off an old spray can because I couldn't find any better containers to use and it's working fine. What you always use what you have in the garage. So I'll put this on, let it sit again for another 10 to 15 minutes. Scrape off whatever comes loose and then we'll take it over to the power washer and get rid of the rest of it. Under the lip here seems to be the spot that uh, isn't letting go real well. We'll make sure we get lots of stripper on that. So we have the clear stripped off all four wheels now. I'm just waiting for them to dry. And then we'll try sanding them and see what works the best to get all the, the corrosion off that was underneath the uh, underneath the clear. I'll zoom in here and should be able to see the corrosion a little better. And some of the wheels are pretty severe. But we'll try to sand that out, see what it looks like. We have the clear stripped off all four wheels now, and it really shows how bad a shape the, the wheels are in. A lot of corrosion on the aluminum. So the, the beaded bead finish surface here, what we'll do is we'll just clean it up with a wire wheel carefully, on, you know, on a cordless drill on low speed. Just get uh, that cleaned up the best we can. The only spot that has some corrosion there is right around the valve stem. So we'll get that cleaned up. Uh, <clears throat> for the polished surface, We'll just take some different grit sandpapers and work from maybe uh, about a 400 up to a 1500 to get that cleaned up the best we can. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take the drill and work in here. Maybe a small amount of uh, clear residue and clear coat still in here. We'll get rid of that. Get the rest of it just cleaned up. So after I was done using the brass wire wheel on my drill in the textured areas on the rim here, uh, it left quite quite deep scratches or you know quite visible scratches at least. Uh, I went back over it with this little brass brush I have, and it, it took most of those scratches out, and and the finish looks more more factory now. So I'm quite happy with the way that turned out. Now we're going to start sanding. 
and we'll start with uh, the worst areas and we'll we'll start with some 220 grit uh, I don't want to go any rougher than that really because uh, it does scratch up the aluminum quite bad and then you just spend way more time uh, getting rid of the scratches the sanding scratches as you can see these are pretty corroded so this is going to take me some time we've got the wheel all sanded down now with 320 grit um, looks pretty good uh, all the corrosions come off uh, a lot of sanding scratches now so we're going to go to 320 wet next and see if we can't get those sanding scratches out of there We'll just use an old sponge to keep it wet. And 320 grit. And keep going until the sanding scratches are gone, and then we'll go to a, a finer grit yet. So we've gone around with the 320 grit wet. Got quite a bit of the scratches out, the sanding scratches. Now we'll go around with 400 get more of the scratches out starting to uh, polish up a little better now too so we'll go around with this for another 10-15 minutes on that and then to the next finer grit well we're done with the uh, 400 grit now we're gonna go on to a thousand uh, I don't know if you can tell with the camera or not but it is polishing up nice it's getting a little shinier as we go sanding scratches are disappearing a lot of work. If I hadn't noticed this much, I might have just went with uh, the 320 grit and kind of kept it like a brush finish. But uh, this polish look is what I'm after, so we'll just keep on going. So we're on to the uh, 1500 grit now. One more time around with this. We'll wash them up real well and see how it looks. The chrome wheels that came on my Silverado. They probably wouldn't look too good after going through a, a few New York winters. And the rubber that came on them isn't exactly ideal for New York snow either. So we're just waiting for the aluminum rims to dry. We'll put a couple coats of clear on them and have a look. We're ready to put the first coat of clear on the, on the wheels. We're just using some Rust-Oleum. It's well shaken up. Now we haven't masked off the tires because they're coming off anyways. They're not much, not much tread left on them. We did tape off the valve stem. Well, the first coat is on, and I've let it set up for a few minutes. We'll put an extra coat on now. This does seem to go on pretty thin. So put it on pretty light where you don't get any runs. This dries to the touch in minutes. So we'll get the third and final coat on now. Well, there you have it. I can't say they turned out as good as new, uh, but it's respectable enough to put on my truck to, for it to run in the winter time at least look a lot better than what we started with thanks for watching